folks, and welcome to another installment of Plaid Stallion's Toy Ventures. It's been a while since I did one of these, and I thought it would be fun to dig into my collection of rare toy store-related catalogs and flyers. And I found this piece. It's from 1985 by uh, Child World. Child World, for those not in the know, was a Massachusetts-based toy store chain that in their zenith had about 187 stores either under the name child world or children's palace and uh, i believe they closed their doors in 1992 um, 1985 is an interesting year for me because i was 14 so i wasn't playing with toys actually this was the year i decided to start collecting them and uh i have a lot of fond memories of going into toy stores at this time mainly to look in their clearance aisle but I remember all of these players, and of course, I was still connected to the toy world. I still saw the commercials, and I occasionally watched some of the cartoons they were based on, because I only had 12 channels back then. So I'm very connected to this, and it is a happy time in my life. So I thought what we'd do is we'd do another, you know, slideshow of the images, and then we'll circle around and I'll kind of go over a few of the things I remember, some anecdotes and recollections of all this stuff. So without further ado, let's dig into the 1985 Child World toy catalog. thoughts from this catalog the first one is the garfield phone makes me laugh um mainly because if they made it in the 80s it had garfield on it there was just literally garfield anything and i'm, I'm kind of amazed i don't think there's a lot of garfield merchandise now i think that's kind of fallen out of favor and i'm not sure if there ever was like a nostalgia craze for him 
I think 1985 was probably a zenith or peak year for Masters of the Universe. I mean, look at all this stuff, and it's amazing. Uh, the character breadth, the play sets. It, it really was like a whole wall of, of items, I recall. Um, this would be kind of the beginning of the end. I think that sales started declining, and then I think the line actually ended in 1987, which was shocking just seeing what a behemoth it was at one time. Um, really, this was an amazing year for Masters of the Universe. Uh, My Buddy by Hasbro was famously the inspiration for Chucky. Uh, but the other thing that it is definitely uh, known for is like the worst earworm jingle ever. Like I was 14. I can recite every lyric of that jingle. In fact, I was humming it while I was scanning this. That's amazing. That guy deserved a raise. This year, the one thing I do really remember about 85 is the crash of computer systems. Uh, video game industry was really dying at that time, and it wouldn't be until Nintendo brought it back. But the cheap cartridges, I remember that. The summer of 85, my local Wolco just had a kiddie pool full of $5 Atari cartridges, which was a golden age for me. I mean, I just kept grabbing every game I ever wanted. She-Ra, to me, seemed like one of the biggest launches in toy history. Um, 1985 was definitely She-Ra's year. I can really remember those toys coming out, that cartoon, the promotion, the ballyhoo. It was pretty amazing. I don't know how long She-Ra lasted, but... It was a big deal for a short time. Zybots were Remco's, you know, a take on the Transformers and the GoBots. At this time, Remco was really famous for just copying toy trends and making the items a little cheaper. Uh, you know, they had m many clones of G.I. Joe and they had many clones of Transformers. Uh, they would do their own original licensing, but I'm pretty sure they even knocked off My Little Pony at that time. Just wanted to quickly mention that our magazine, Toy Ventures, all four back issues are now available at our new store, and the link is below. Uh, we have limited quantities on certain issues, so if you are thinking about jumping in, now is the right time. Toy Ventures is an old-school print toy magazine, and it features toys from the 60s through the 80s. Many of the writers are top collectors in the field. Thank you for considering it. So that is my look at the 1985 Child World toy catalog. If you could have only one of these items from this catalog, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below, or you can hit me up in our Facebook group, Pod Stallions, or you can hit me up on Twitter, at Plaid Stallions. Let's talk toys. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this, I hope you'll consider hitting like and subscribe. We do this every week. Until next time, be well and talk toys, not others. Cheers.